Hello guys, now welcome to Next Lives, another episode of Make Money Online and you know how we do it, I'm your one and only Olawale Yusuf. So today we're going to be talking about the 2024 KDP, Amazon KDP guide on how you could make six, one, two, three, four, five, six figure income with as little as zero dollars minimum investment. Come on, guys. You know how I do it on my channel here. I don't give you guys fake information. I give you guys things that I've done and I'll show you proof that I've done it. And I'm going to tell you how you can do it to actually get to start making six-figure income on Amazon KDP. So for those of you that have been following my channel for a long time, you know, we've just started to create an Amazon KDP account and we've all got to verify our Amazon KDP account, linking a bank account to our Amazon KDP account. And now we are at the stage of actually creating content, creating books to publish on Amazon KDP and start making our six figure income with as little as a zero dollar investment but for those of you that are just joining my channel for the first time today or just seeing this video for the first time then don't worry don't skip a breath just hit the subscribe button smash the bell icon so whenever i drop beautiful videos like this you'll be one of the first two people to see my videos and of course go over to the other videos that i've dropped and watch and start from creating your amazon kdp account uh, verifying your amazon kdp account and of course also link a bank to your amazon kdp account then come back to this video and finish up we're creating content for your amazon kdp and start making money and living life Ooh, yeah now guys today's video it's actually depending on two different stages okay i call it two different stages because one amazon kdp publishing is actually uh, divided into two actually so we have the the low content which is the low content books and we have the content book which we call the fiction and non-fiction categories of course i love the non-fiction categories because those of you who know me personally know i am a freelance writer and i basically deal with ghost writing well come on i love this job i love this job <laughs> okay guys so i don't want to skip a brand on waste your time today okay guys so let us go straight into it we have two different categories the first one is a low content book i'm going to be showing you guys how to actually do it how to create a low content book in at least last few minutes and how you could post it on amazon publish it on amazon immediately and start making six figure income and start living the life of your dream don't you want to live large don't you want to make money and be happy that you're making money even without leaving the comfort of your home? I know you want to do that too. So this is your opportunity to actually make money, live large and, you know, be your own person. Now, the next cool stage is, of course, about the Amazon publishing, which is the content book. Now, this is divided into two categories also. The content book is divided into also two categories. And we have the fiction and the non-fiction. Both categories are amazing. Okay, so you don't have to like want to choose one or don't choose one. Now I'm going to show you how you actually create the two categories. Come on, make sure you write fictions from scratch without having to even put in a whole lot of energy. You could do this in matter of minutes. All, all you needed after that is just give it a little proofreading here and there and give it a little editing to make your book complete. And I'm going to show you how to actually write uh, uh, the non-fiction also, the non-fiction which is like the best the best of the best because this you don't actually need to uh, be afraid that maybe someone have written something similar to it before or something because fictional books are always similar i don't want to go into that today fictional books are always similar if you're someone who reads fictional novels often and often then you're going to know what i'm talking about for the non-fiction book i'm going to teach you how to create a non-fiction book from scratch in minutes and post it on amazon immediately and start making six figure income guys guys this is it this is it you need to start making income. I mean, you need to just do an initial work for about like a week or two weeks or even a month. And after that, you just start making recurring income every month without doing nothing. As I am now, even if I don't work for a month, I get paid from Amazon every month. I get paid. I show people this proof here and there on my groups. If you like to join my group chat, the group in the description below, you're going to see to join my group and get started. Now, Enough about all this chit chat we've been talking about since morning. Let's go get started. And we're going to be starting with a low content book, guys. Come on. Let's go. Woo! Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. All right, guys. Like I said earlier, this video is going to be divided into two main parts. Okay. So the first part is about the low content book. While the second part is the content book, which is also divided into two parts, which is the 
fiction and the non-fiction content so we're going to be starting from the uh, first fact which is the low content because i don't really want to waste any of your time today so now let's start how do you write the low content book and publish on amazon at first low content book are various kinds of book like uh, like a diary like a or like a journal like a notebook stuff like that those are what low content books are about okay now let's let's go to google and just search what exactly we know about low content so for a lot of you who don't really know much about it so let me give you a brief explanation before we move on so low content books are basically books with minimal or no content inside them so there are books like journals the the books like uh their uh, notebooks and um your diary stuff like that so this is basically easy to actually do for any person all you just have to do is to make it creative i mean give them a reason give your potential customer or your potential reader a reason to buy your book and not go to buy the notebook or the journal in the store or in the bookstore next door okay that's basically what it's about now to write a low content book is pretty easy and it's very fast if you have a website like a uh, canva let's start with canva.com i know a lot of people know canva but if you're one of those people who don't know canva it's just just go to canva.com there's a free version for everyone however i'm going to be dropping my link on the description below so this link is going to be giving you a, a 30 days free trial so whereby you get to experience the premium version of canva for just 30 days okay so check the link in the description below click on the link and create an account and you're going to be getting a 30 days free premium account now let's say we're here on canva now this is a free version of canva actually so i wanted to show you guys something now we're going to come to the search box here we're going to search for notebook notebook so what i want to do is we want canva to give us a uh, different templates of notebooks and we want to duplicate them to how many pages we want now as you can see these are different kinds of notebook and all these are editable which means we could decide to change the flowers to something else we could decide to tweak it all around now let's start from something like uh, okay let's choose this choosing this because it already has a uh, hundred pages however if if you're doing yours you might not have something like this you might just get one proof it's gonna be like one page only so you wanna you wanna create a, a low content book on a medical medical journal let's say i wanna write on something about depression okay all i have to do is to just go ahead and look for something that has to do with depression let's say let's say i come here oh okay depression and anxiety now take a look at this this says reflection journal terms of where you could put things so now you could create this you could simply create this and duplicate it into a hundred pages and uh, now you could just change yours to like a uh, instead of reflection you could say uh, depression or you could say recovery recovery let's say recovery journal so which simply means you're creating the book for people who are recovering from stuff like depression and everything and you work on it while whereby you change a whole lot of things in here like for example it says they're gonna put today's date and they're gonna say today i'm grateful for okay so they already know that today they're gonna be writing three things that i'm grateful for and here things that made me happy they're gonna write three things that make them happy today and their, their emotions today they're gonna circle or simply underline their emotions that they feel today this is a great one okay if you want to write something like journal this is the best all you just have to do is to duplicate this thing this particular uh, page duplicate it into like 100 pages or 200 whatever amount you want and you name it a recovery journal about maybe depression or recovery from depression 
it's pretty easy okay it's not hard once you're doing it on website like canva now now uh, let's just let's say okay let's let's use this recovery journal so it's gonna be pretty easy now i'm gonna have to like delete uh, this ones because i already have like a hundred of them so let's just delete let's just try and delete a whole other bunch of them okay hold on okay so i deleted some bunch of them i'm just gonna duplicate this let me duplicate this so i'm gonna make it a hundred back okay so now we have 100 okay now that we have 100 so now let's go ahead and save we're going to be saving this as a pdf format guys guys don't forget pdf okay that's what you need it to now let's come down here and click download for those of you who don't know how to use canva you come to the share button and you scroll down you hit on download then you come to this file type you click on it and you save it as a pdf okay most time it's okay if you save it as pdf standard but i always advise people to save it as this pdf print why because this is going to include everything every details and everything so you and even if there's color on your book it's going to include it you're not going to have to like a uh, a few because there's a particular pain on your book and it's not going to be there okay now let's hit download don't worry guys i'm going to be dropping a link that is the description of this video and that's a link where you guys could download something like this you can download a hundred of these kinds of templates the one for depression the one for recovery stuff like that where you can just edit or where you could just create like one or two pages above them and you could get started don't worry watch out for the link in the description below i'm going to title it templates for non uh, templates for or low content book okay so just scroll down to the description below you're gonna see templates for low content books now it's downloading now this is as pretty easy as it, as it is right now we just finished creating a, a book and i don't think we even used five minutes okay we just finished creating a book now the next thing is we want to create a cover for the book okay we want to create a cover but before we create a cover i want you guys to know that there, there are two ways whereby we could create a cover for book on amazon the fastest one so far the fastest one is the one you get to create while you are on amazon is the book uh, the cover you create on amazon is the fastest and the neatest because amazon does all the work for you all you needed is just a picture a picture of what you want to uh, communicate with your customer and after the picture all you have to do next is to just try to give it a little bit of editing right there on Amazon now that's just as pretty easy as it is okay and I, I would try this out uh, we're gonna try this method first then after that we're gonna come back to Canva and also create a cover so you guys could have several options to use okay but if you are the first type that you want to do this you want to create like five ten books in a day and you know rush it up because a lot of people are already in my inbox saying they really need to start making money this this and that i know a lot of people are like being so forward they want to just start working and i understand okay i understand so let's do this let's try the first one which is for the amazon kdp whereby it's the fastest one so far okay now guys if you're just joining this channel for the first time now don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon so whenever i drop a new videos like this one you're gonna be one of the first few people you know to get to view my videos and you know get to move on and and join us in making this money online have you done it okay thank you now let's go ahead let's continue with our video now here i'm gonna be opening uh, one of our amazon accounts it's okay now when you're creating a low content book there's nothing like kindle there's nothing like amazon kindle there's nothing like that all you have to do is you're going to create a book which is the paperback now let's click this create button so i'm going to show you what i'm talking about 
I will click the create button now here we are on the create button now I'm gonna have these kinds of uh, version I'm gonna explain what each ones are about the first one which is the Kindle ebook as you can see it says Kindle ebook this is the ebook where people read on their mobile phones on their Kindle Fire uh, mobile uh, there's a tab there's an Amazon Kindle tab people read it on it on their phones and everything that's what Kindle book is about it's the Kindle ebook is the ebook version it's the uh, the online version or the digital version of an actual book now the next one we have the paperback here you go the paperback this is the paperback version and this paperback is the actual book the actual book so the actual book where people actually buy where they can open where they can read physically where they read it physically and that's what we're going to be creating because of course this is a journal or it's a notebook or whatever so it has to be a physical book isn't it you can't create a Kindle version of that how do people want to jot down do people want to write things on it so the paperback okay that's what the paperback is about now this third one which is the which says the ad cover book we have this by this side uh, one second here which is the ad cover is also the another form of paperback the difference is that it's got thick covers thick very thick covers because a lot of people like some people like buying books with very thick covers because i believe they can store it at home for a long time people have shelves books shelves at home stuff like that now there are two other months but those ones are not really book versions they are just other categories for example this is a series page series page simply means you are publishing a particular book that has series so for those of you who want to create a low content book you could use a series page okay i'm going to be dropping a new video uh, dedicated to this series page how you do it and how it works but let me just give you a brief explanation so how, how it works is that let's say i have like my book coming out in like volume one volume two volume three volume four that's what series is all about now you create a particular page for it whereby you have the volume one volume two so anyone who is interested in one version of the book is automatically going to be able to see the rest let's say someone buys the volume one they're going to be able to see volume two volume three volume four volume five and decide if they want to buy the rest themselves okay or let's say i simply want to categorize all my books on that part for example we're, we're, we're actually creating a journal about uh, a recovery from depression okay so you could have this series please about recovering uh, series which simply means recovery from depression recovering from mental health recovering from this recovering from that little things then you create a series about recovery it's pretty easy okay now the last one which is the Kindle Vela this is for the people who write stories and uh, fictions so you wanted to be writing uh, short stories if you are good at writing short stories this is for you I'm also going to dedicate a new video on how you can do this because this is also very hard and amazing right now if you know how to write sh simple simple short stories that is not more than like a uh, 1000 to 5000 words and it's going to fly and I'm going to keep dropping volumes upon volumes upon volumes of that particular story people are always ready like you see people dying like when is the next volume going to come out for this I'm going to dedicate another video for it also now let's go back to what we're doing because I don't want with uh, like I said I don't want to waste your time so now we're going to be clicking on the paperback which is create paperback So here we're going to be filling the details. Now, like I said earlier, we're creating a book about recovery. Now, the recovery needs to have a particular name if it's really going to fly, okay? Like if it's going to fly, we need to give it a particular name. For example, recovery could be recovery from anything. So, for example, uh, I could say it's recovery from uh, depression. However, I don't have I would not advise you to just use that kind of word like that, like recovery from depression, because it simply means you're telling the world that whoever is buying that book has depression. And sometimes a lot of people don't like being, uh, being, uh, being uh, called a particular way. Okay, it's a kind of stereotype, especially in the U.S. They don't like uh, those kind of words. The way you use it, you have to watch yourself the way you use it, or you might get uh, your book sidelined. A lot of people might be like, "Oh, so, so." You're saying that I have depression, stuff like that. So you could just say, uh, recovering from mental or from a uh, 
for mental health issues if it's a mental health strategy that's fine so let's say we're giving it a recovery for mental health issues recovery from mental health issues okay now we're giving our book a title this is the title we're covering our mental health issues okay okay now you could always have a subtitle but it's not adv advisable i don't advise you having a subtitle once the book is a low content okay the most simple it is the best is easy for it to fly but if you're writing like the actual book then you could have a subtitle just to explain more about it and you could also see have a subtitle if you feel you want to explain let's say this title doesn't really explain what the book is about and you want to explain more you could just say yeah you could just come and say a journal to help speed up your recovery from mental issues you can see now now this is exactly what subtitle is about so i already explained it but and the reason why i'm explaining this here is because this main title did not really say that the book is a journal okay it didn't say the book is a journal but let's say i i already put it like i already say recovering journal Recovering journal for mental health issues. Then most time I might, I might probably not need this. So now let's continue. Since this book is not a series, so we don't need to add it to a series. Now this is the series I'm talking about. Let's say we already created a series, then then we can just add it to it through here and select the particular series. So the additional number you don't need it. Also, if you're not creating a series, you don't need it. Now here you need an author name. Now. Don't forget that every book needs to have someone who created it. Okay, like there needs to be, there should be someone who creates the book. So now, here I'll, I'm always advise people to use a pen name. Pen name. A pen name is like an author name, but uh, we call it a, a pseudonym, a pseudonym of the actual person. So if your your name is a uh, Daniel, you could use something like Dan Pixel or Dan Elt and stuff like that. So now since this book is about mental health, let's just use Dan Elt That is the person. Now let's continue. Now here is where we want to sell the book. We want to sell the book, okay? Now I'm going to see drop a video how you could create this. How you could create this. I mean you create the best one. Okay, I'm going to give you different versions of how you can create it first. But for this video, I don't want this video to be too long. I'm just going to put in something myself and we're going to move on, okay? Alright guys, so like I said, I'm just going to put something. I already have something copied. So let's just put it here. Now this is what a uh, description look like. You can see, embark on a transformative journey to mental wellness with, with journey to wholeness and mental health recovery journal now this is the title of the actual book that i put here so let's just put in a let's copy our own title and replace it with it that's the title i wanted to use for a particular book before so i just have to copy because i don't want to waste your time we'll be doing this in a different video this video is going to be very long and i don't want to add to it i don't want to add to it okay so this is just how it looks like and let's just move on and move on so i'm just changing everything to the title now we're moving on now the next thing it says i own the copyright and i hold necessary publishing right you need to always click this and that's the reason why you should not use someone else's work okay because if you use someone else's work and someone reports you then you're going to be in a very big problem okay now primary audience it says does the book have any sexual episode image or title does this book cover our interior Contain sexual episodes and material? Of course, no, it doesn't. Now, here is a reason age. Now, choose here is just like Amazon trying to narrow your audience down for you so they know the kind of people they're going to show your books to. Now, this helps if your book targets a particular kind of people, just like 
this one we are uploading it targets people who are having like mental or something health related okay now it says choose the youngest and oldest age which a person could enjoy this book now i'm going to advise you not to choose anything of this except you're creating a book that is targeting a particular kind of people like young people alone or adult people alone if you're not creating any book that's targeting some kind of people alone, then don't touch this just leave it okay now we come down primary marketplace is always amazon.com because that's the primary one the way i'm going to distribute your book to other uh, platform but just leave it as a primary then we come here you see we're going to choose category now you see now just a book classify as any other this, uh, type choose all that apply you're going to choose low content which is a journal a notebook and a planner okay that's what you should always choose for low content book don't make a mistake and if you don't if you don't choose this then you're going to put yourself in a big problem because Amazon is going to know and they're going to think that you're trying to circumvent their system you're trying to sell uh, low content book as full content okay now let's move on now here we have the keywords I'm also going to drop another video on how you get keywords here but for now let me just explain what keywords is and we're going to use some random ones now keywords are things that a few people could search on Amazon to get the kind of book they want so if you want to get this kind of stuff, in, of course they're going to be searching for journals, you know, isn't it? So we're going to put stuff like journal, we're going to put stuff like a notebook, like a um, health notebooks. And we're going to put stuff like um, uh, mental mental health you know, for stuff like um depression you wanna put stuff like um uh, recovery no no um okay well that's basically gonna put stuff related to the kind of uh, book that we wanted here okay and make sure you put a whole lot of stuff in the everything make it um it's always six or seven okay seven so make sure you fill it in but it's not compulsory you fill everything if you're able to fill two or three it's fine all it just has to do is it's related to what is in your book so i'm going to help narrow the search down i'm going to drop a video on how to actually get this kind of uh keywords when they actually speak for the kind of book you want but that's not on this particular video now let's move on now it says publication date now I always leave all my books here. You don't have to like eat uh, my book was previously published or something. No, it's always here. Okay. Now let's move on. Release date is set as you can see. So it says it's not uh, eligible. So it's going to be available after the book goes live, which means after uh, Amazon approved the book and it's going to go live. That's going to take like some two hours. But this is just for show. The book is always available in like six to twelve hours. Okay, which means if you do it, I think this is six thirty nine a.m. right here. So if you do it by this time before evening, it's going to be available. Okay, now let's click on save and continue. At least one category to come. Oh, I, I didn't choose a category here. I'm very sorry. Now here, this category page, we're going to have to choose a category to categorize our book. I forgot that because I was trying to get past it. So once you click the category, as you can see here, now, I want to choose a category that our books fall into. Now, our book is an health book, so of course, we're going to be choosing something that related to health and maybe mental health or depression, stuff like that. Now, let's come to this category. Let's scroll down. We're going to see stuff like uh, that's relating to that. You can see with here it says health, fitness, and dieting. We should probably choose this, but let's go down and see if there's anything else. Medical books? No, I would not. I don't think that's it's not strictly medical like that, but it can still work for self help too, though. Okay, so let's just choose. And since we don't have a journal right here, isn't it? Yeah, we don't have journal, so we're going to be choosing this health, fitness, and dieting. Then we're going to come back and choose the sub category. Okay, here I always choose general, I always choose general. So Amazon will be the one to you know tweak your book all around for you. That's if you're choosing here. But sometimes I don't choose here, I come here and see if I can narrow it down. 
So when you come here, we'll see if you can narrow down. It says addiction and recovery. I think this is the best for that kind of book, okay? But it's not compulsory you choose that. You could choose different kinds. But I think this is still the best since it's about recovery stuff. Then when you choose this addiction and recovery, then we can also come here and choose a whole lot of other more, okay? But most time, if I come here, I see something like general. I always choose general. So the episode could show your books to everybody on this category instead of limiting it to you know alcohol recovery alone or drug recovery alone or mental recovery alone or obsessive stuff like that alone okay so let's leave this this particular way the reason i'm leaving it this way is because i'm not seeing in general oh this is a general okay okay so let's choose a general okay now we can always choose something else okay i'm not going to be choosing other children alcoholism now but let's say we choose drug and this obsessive something or substance abuse Substances including dogs and alcohol, I guess. Okay. So why do you select three here? Because three is the uh, maximum you can select. Now let's save the category. Now it's been saved. Then we'll come back here and hit continue. Save and continue. Okay. Now this is a low content book. Your book doesn't need an ISBN. To publish so you're just gonna leave publish it without an ISBN because it's a low content book as you can see it's already within you can publish a low content book without an ISBN or add when you already purchase so it's a low content book now this is where we're going this is the interior of your book interior of your book okay so this is like the interior of our book and now this is where we want to upload the the book we created on canva.com okay now as you can see it says white and black that's always the default one so if you have a book that you want the coloring and everything there to show then you're not going to choose this black and we're going to come here and choose this standard color or premium color now let's check if you can see this is a standard color you can see this everything changes color a little bit you can see it changes color a little bit now let's choose the premium color you can see the color become more brighter and more unique okay now this is the black and white you can see now this is black and white interior with cream paper now this is always a little bit cost because the cream paper is always like a very thick paper or something so if you you don't have any any design that you need to be in a uh, different color in your book then just leave it in this white and black but if you have a design you want you to show and to be flashing then you can always use the standard color or premium color but you need to be <laughs> you need to be aware of something uh, this particular place whatever you select there's going to determine how costly your book is because amazon is going to charge you for printing the book amazon is going to print the book and send to the seller they're going to charge you for printing so and they charge more for colored book they also charge more for this um, interior cream white paper and of course they charge more for this premium colored interior with white paper also so this is like the cheapest this black and white interior stuff is like the cheapest and i'm just i'm going to be using it for this video only you can always choose anyone you like okay but take note that the profits of the book is always going to be limited if you use colored okay but if you have something for example our book has some flowery something there are some pages that has all this flower stuff i can use this standard color because of the flower okay but if there's nothing designed that i need to come out in a color then I just leave it in this black and white and it's the cheapest. Now let's move on. Here I want to choose the size of your book. Okay. Now at first this is like the actual size of every book is either 6 by 9 or 5 by 8. 6 by 9 or 5 by 8. Now the last time we were checking, working on our Canva, we didn't actually check the size of the book. And that's because uh, Canva is always a... Uh, I've always set uh, the particular size of their own book and that's the reason why I didn't take uh, a lot of time to actually check what size it is or, or what size it's not. Now let's check it now here where it says resize and we're going to resize it to whatever it is we're looking for. Now this is customized size. Now this is it. We could always change it to anything we wanted. You can see there's a pixel, there's an in, there's a 
millimeter the centimeter and if you come back here on amazon you can see it's in here is in cm and here is in inches so this is six by nine inch so let's say i want to use this by nine inch and i just have to come here and change this to inch then you can see it already states that this book is eight by eleven inch so if we want to leave it this way and we already know that we're going to be choosing this eight by eleven on amazon so let's come back here and choose eight by eleven of course it's going to be here like i said earlier that's one of the beauty about the Canva. So let's come here and look for 8 by 11. Yeah, this is 8 by 11, as you can see. This is 8 by 11. But uh, looking at it, I think it has something at the back. I think this is 8.27, 11.6. And let's check if it's correct. You can see 8.26 by 8, which is approximately 8.27, and 11.690, which is approximately 11.69. Uh, now, that's exactly what it's saying. So let's just choose this since that's the side of our book we don't want to go back there and start editing okay now it says here yeah, bleed setting always put it on no bleed you don't need it to bleed okay because it's a uh, it's a it's a journal it's a low content book you don't need anything bleed. i always leave this as much if you choose this glossy your book is going to even be more costly to produce <laughs> and that's reducing your profit margin now here we want to upload the book we want to upload the book. The book will get it on Canva. Now here we're gonna upload it first. So after uploading then we're gonna go over to the book cover like I said. We're gonna create the book cover and we're gonna publish. This is pretty easy guys. Like I've always said it's very easy. Now let's upload the manuscript. Let's upload the book. You click upload manuscript. I'll give it a few seconds to pop up. Okay now we're gonna go to our download I think okay this is it on download notebook page one I'm gonna hit the download button and we're gonna click continue. Then we're gonna give it some seconds to actually load up. I'm gonna pause this video so as to not waste our time. Okay, so our book has been uploaded. You can see it says manuscript notebook page A4 PDF uploaded successfully and it's processing. Now I want to come back now. This is where we're going. Instead of us creating the cover on our on Canva and wasting a whole lot of time, we just want to come here and launch this cover creator but before we do that before we launch this cover creator we're gonna open a new tab we're gonna go to these two websites i'm gonna be giving you guys to so, get okay, we're gonna all we need from these two websites we need images we need images that are copyright free and they are high quality so i'm recommending these two sites so you don't have issues with amazon the first one is on splash on splash that come on splash and this second one is free pick a lot of people if you are into graphics then you're going to know this you're going to know this other one which is free pick so let's just check it out so it's free pick i'm going don't worry i'm going to drop the link in the description below so you can always check the description below and don't forget guys if you are joining us for the first time don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for videos like this you'll be one of the first few people to actually get started with this now this is on splash now all you want to do on here is to search for uh, a term or a keyword related to the book you're uploading and get your image for it okay that's just what you need and after that you're done creating your book on amazon you're just gonna go over and breeze through the creation process so let's come here and search something like uh, mental health because uh, I'm actually needing someone that looks like he's going through mental health and is trying to heal, okay? Okay, this would have been great, but I see it, it has a, you need a paid version, you can see it locked, you need a paid version to be able to download it, okay? So they have a lot of uh, images that doesn't need paid versions to download, as you can see here, if you don't see this locked, if you're not seeing this locked sign, then it's free to use which means you don't even have any issue if you're using the uh, images okay so um, this mm, not really not bad okay let's check this i think i like this the reason why i like this is because it symbolizes people going through emotional stuff okay uh, i wouldn't want to use this mental health matter stuff nah it's too and this one nah it's too cool but uh, i love this this will this will look good as a front page of a, of a journal okay so let's use this I'm going to be downloading this. 
so let me go over to um, free peak also and see if I can you know if I can see something you know something maybe more more beautiful than this <laughs> now this is free peak you can see here it says free stock photos to download that's just it all you need is a free stock photo now let's check mental out here also and let's see if it's gonna give us some beautiful free stock images because that's what we need okay now these these are great ones though i think i i would have to check one of these out now here all these images are free except the ones that come with this golden uh the golden uh, crown the golden crown simply means you need to you know pay to access the book or uh, the images then the ones that doesn't have a golden crown simply means it's free okay i would have loved something like this okay now here it says upload the cover now this is where you upload your cover if you already created the cover on canva okay this is the best way to actually create this thing using it on amazon it's the best way and the easiest and the fastest okay if you're trying to create it on Canva, you need a lot of things you need to uh, do a lot of uh, apart from designing the cover you're also going to need to like want to know uh, the amount of uh, or pages your book is you uh, need to know some splits some spines some a lot of things because there's a lot of settings that you need to do and at the end of the when you upload it you might see issues like uh, a little bit issue on amazon, on amazon whereby you have to keep re reducing the sizes or increasing the sizes or increasing the spine size stuff like that so this is why i always advise people to just come here and create it and get it over with just get a very nice beautiful images to start with now this is the image we've been trying to download the other time and i think this image is given so let me download it i think it's given so even if i don't use it for this uh, video i'm going to be using it for something else now launch the cover creator it takes a time it takes a while sometimes so. okay it's loading up the, the image i'm trying to download is already downloaded also so i can always use it now i want to come here and choose different designs and styles okay and after the first one i suggest you just it is got it so it doesn't show you again but you can always leave it so you can always pop up every time now i'm going to click continue now first i want to come here and get images the first one says image from library which means from amazon kdp library you don't need that you shouldn't do that now here it says from my computer which means of course this is what we want to use isn't it now this is uh the place order this is where the the, the image they use for auto stuff that's if you are uploading a book that needs the auto stuff but you're not uploading one that needs that so let us come here and choose from my computer okay so now i'm just going to choose this image which is the last one i downloaded because i want to use that i like the image so i want to use it so after we click that it's going to load up now watch this uh, watch the magic that amazon is going to do amazon is going to automatically create a book cover that suits and fits the book you uploaded earlier which is the one we created from canva and we uploaded going to create the book cover that's going to fit it you're not going to have any issue with spine or whatever whatever no issue no no need to start editing and editing so people spend now this process do sometimes take a long time so just be patient for it to actually load up and as you can see we have different kinds of templates right here isn't it beautiful it is beautiful but you can always choose anyone you like okay like i said earlier you can always choose anyone you like so now this is different style i always choose this particular one the one that display my picture the way i want it which is this first one and i'm going to be choosing this one and after that we're going to be editing it since this this is like a this is a low content book so we don't need a lot of words at the back we just need something that's talk about the, the book which is the journal we need the uh, name the title and we also need something small at the back I want to come here and delete all these jargons just click on once you click on it it's automatically going to be deleted okay now i want to come here which is the title i want to try and edit it 
when I edit it, make it a little bit smaller and put it above this woman woman here. So it's called you know fit. So um, first I'm gonna bold it, then I'm gonna change the color. Um I'm gonna give it something a little bit flashy so it could show very well. Cause that white uh, no, no, no. that white's not giving. <laughs> um what color are we gonna use? I'm not really good with color so forgive whatever color I decide to use right here. Oh okay, let's just use this. I'm not really good with color. Okay, now let's reduce it. Oh, that's too small. Mm, not bad, but still small. What about 36? I think this is better. Then let's make it uh, align to the middle. And um, I would have loved if this is a little bit uh, in a capital letter or something. But I don't want to start doing that right now. So. You can see I'm just showing you this so you can actually see different ways you can edit this. It's always there. You can edit, you can change the you can see. You can change it, you can just do it anyhow you like. Just make it beautiful, okay? Make it beautiful, make it interesting, make it something that's gonna be uh, enticing where people wanna, you know, check it out. Okay. So it's about recovering uh journal journal. It's a recovery journal from mental illness. That's what the book is about, Recovering Journal for Mental Illness. Now we're done with that. Now we're gonna come down here. Now this is like a subtitle, what the book is about. So we're gonna also give this one uh, color. And um, of course, we use the sizes like we did to the other one. But this one has to go a little bit down since it's just a and i want to give it a different color because this color is not really showing i don't know why or rather let me give it a different one here let's see if it's gonna show oh okay it's even telling me to choose a smaller font size now let's choose 18. okay i think this is okay but just play around with the color and the design and everything. Play around with it and make it beautiful. Now this is like the pen name, okay? This should always be there. This is one of the things that make people start knowing you on uh, Amazon. And once people start knowing you, then you're, you're gradually, you know, climbing the, the ladder. So I suggest you make people know you. Okay, I guess we're done. Then here at the back, we're gonna write something, something small something small just like the description i want to give them one or two reasons why they should buy the book but most time i just put a copy like the introduction part of my description and i put it here so that's what i'm going to do here also i have a, a description right here one second okay here we have it so i'm just going to put it down here so this is basically like a few of the things that are inside the book and you know so then I want to work on it also. I want to I want to make it a little bit bold and change the color. Change the color from white to something something whitish, but not white. Ah, I think this is better. No, not better. Let me make it something look. Okay, this is better. Cause this is a book, and when th once the book start displaying the author name, okay, it says this author name is too small. It's not really talking about this, uh, is it? Okay, okay. Alright, now everything is co complete the way it is now. But most of them are, I always like remove this. Since since there's no there's gonna be nothing here. But if once you don't put anything there, I'm just automatically gonna remove it. So just leave it that way. Then you click preview so you wanna see what it's gonna look like. Okay, now this is what it looks like. Now this is like from uh, the back, both the back and the front. The spine is gonna be, the spine is gonna be somewhere in this middle. So this guy's gonna fall at the back, and this one's gonna fall at the front. Now this is what the journal look like, the cover look like. Now don't mind my own. Create yours, whatever you like. 
how beautiful your life but just make sure it's beautiful what attracts people most on uh, when they're buying book on amazon the first thing they see is this cover so it needs to be attractive make sure it's attractive you can see i use red white blah 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 don't say because i use red when i use red no make it colorful make it beautiful look for images that are naturally beautiful and put something beautiful here yeah, design it or put colors that are blend with it i'm not i'm really bad when it comes to color so whenever i'm publishing book i sometimes ask two or three of my friends like, oh is this fine is this beautiful is this okay before i publish because i know i'm bad with colors okay so don't be like me now we're going to hit save and submit since we're done with this we hit save and submit and we let uh, kindle or uh, cover creator do the rest okay now i guess that's ongoing okay this is the file we uploaded earlier and it says the cover has been uploaded successfully it's processing so now it's going to process it now while we do that then we're going to come back here now amazon just added this option now they always say you should let them know if you are using ai generated content which means if you use ai to write a book then you should let them know here why so that if a customer complains they're going to tell you the customer that oh it's an ai generated book so you don't have you don't have issue but if you don't choose yes if you choose no and the later find that you're using ai to write this book they are probably going to either delete the book or block your account either of the two most time they don't block account except you do it repeatedly they're just going to delete your book or something like that so here we're going to choose no because this is a low content book and we're not using ai to generate it isn't it so we're not it's not it's not a book that we write a lot of content inside that we're using ai or something so i choose no then we'll come here and preview the book so here we're going to preview the book we're going to see how the book looks like outside how it looks like now let's launch this previewer now guys you need to be patient just like when launching this preview and every other things because this time now google is uh, amazon is taking its time to you know propagate your book together from the uh, the back cover the cover to the actual manuscript they are linking them together and making it an actual book so be patient so i just want to we're going to come i've already clicked the preview and i'm just going to hit the approve right here approve so after this we approve then we publish we're going to put the price and everything and we are good to go okay as you can see look at the cover it's here beautiful sitting and we come down here and you can see now this is what i'm talking about you can see the printing cost of this book is 2.84 dollars now now imagine you use a, a colored book or this or that if you're using a color book, it's still going to be more than this so whatever price you are using now you're going to be considering removing this first from the price so that's exactly what i'm talking about that you need to be watchful of those kind of book you publish and everything so most book i publish is always one point something in dollars the printing cost the reason why this is like this is because we use eight point uh, eight point eleven here you can see five point eleven that means the book is very big not small book that's the reason why the printing cost is so high now let's continue okay so it's saved now with the next test it says territory all territory always all territory so that your book can be sold in all amazon stores worldwide now we're going to come down here here we're going to put the price now determine the price you want to sell your book now as you can already see it's already said minimum here 4.73 the reason why i say minimum 4.73 is because when they remove they are 2.8 something dollars for the printing then you're not going to have a lot of money left that's why they say four points so now take a look let's put five dollars so i want to put a five five dollars book right here we're going to be checking you can see for ordinary five dollars you can see we're having a royalty of 0 0.16 dollars right here okay so just for this purpose only i'm going to put in like ten dollars so we're going to see how much we can make okay so if I sell any book for ten dollars, that means we're going to be making three point sixteen dollars per book sold. So anyone who who buy our book for ten dollars, we're going to be making this amount on each book, and that's one on Amazon.com. Then if they buy it on uh, .co.uk, you make this amount, so so on and so forth. 
and that's this now i always try to choose expanded distribution because this expanded distribution always sell lots of book that's the reason why i always choose them but it's not compulsory okay it's not compulsory guys so you can just leave it but most time i always choose it and that's mainly for the book like the fiction and non-fiction books i don't really choose it for uh low content okay so just choose it if you are writing the fiction and non-fiction book because they always buy a lot of these are like shops like our uh, bookstores so when they want to buy they won't buy one they won't buy two they'll probably buy like 50 minimum of 10 20 so it's always like pork purchase and that's the reason why you can see the rate is small you can see it says 40 percent here it says 60 percent you can see here it says 40 percent because they always they always buy in bulk now let's move on now we are done we're going to need to publish your paper book now that's pretty how it is from our our creation process to this to up to this point i don't think we spent 30 minutes i guess a lot of our minutes that we spent is just spent on me explaining a lot of things about how the thing works and and, co and everything you can see they always say they're going to review like some hours but mostly it takes six five hours for you to get it done with now what don't we just finish uploading a book on amory it's in review and it's going to be published very soon that's just it now let's go over to the next step which is publishing the content book okay now we're going to the next volume which is publishing the content book now if you're just joining us for the first time or you just it's your first time of seeing me oh, of course my name is Olawale Yusuf and this is Nextlands channel now don't forget to hit the subscribe button smash the bell icon down 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 <laughs> so whenever I drop new videos like this one you're one of the first few people to actually get to see my video now the next volume this video is getting long and I don't want it to be so long so the next volume is about the full content which is the fiction and non-fiction now this is pretty easy okay I'm going to show you how to do it first let's start with a non-fiction okay now the non-fiction if you want to write a non-fiction book of course you are need to have a topic and every other thing you want to get started with you need to have a topic you want to write about you need to have uh, like most time a subtitle but all that I'm going to drop a new video on how to get started with all that but first let's write a non-fiction book okay guys so now let's talk about how to actually write the non-fiction book and how to get it started within few minutes and you know finish your book now for example let's say i want to write a non-fiction book about how to become a better house wife so let's say this is the topic how to become a better housewife i want to write a non-fiction book about it of course we're going to have a subtitle but i don't want to deal with that right now now this is the topic now there's there's two different ways to write this to make it very fast okay the first one is to start rumbling through google and trying to form a, a professional like me if you're like me then I, I, i'll be able to do it this way and i'll also be fast but if you're not like me there are two ways you can get it done and very fast the first one is to come to amazon amazon.com i used to tell people that this there is nothing you want to do amazon.com amazon.com now we're not going to kdp now just the dot com then you want to search your topic and you want to check people that have written about it two or three books that have written about it then all you want to do is to check their description and see few of the topics or the table of content that they write then you want to copy the table of content and write about those table of content it's pretty easy as a b c now take a look at this this one says how to be a good wife then you want to start opening them in new tab so let's say we open this in a new tab and let's go down how to become a people magnet no this is not what we're looking for best lover how to be a better wife yeah this is also cool okay now let's go let's keep going let's see if we're gonna see like one more i mean of three so let's see if we can see one more i don't see another one so let's stop there now let's check these two that we've actually uh, copied then there's no how a book is gonna be you're not gonna see something similar there okay. you're gonna see something cool something similar which is here now come down here you see read more i'm gonna look in two places one here if there is some sort of um uh, table of content where the person says oh, these are the things that are inside the book this this and that but looking at here i don't see anything like that here okay 
Now the second place is we want to check if the book has a Kindle version. If the book has a Kindle version, then we'll be able to see the table of contents from here. But this book doesn't have a Kindle version. You can see it's only at cover. So we we'll pass this book. Now let's move on to the next one, which is this. Now let's check here. The same thing here, this one also doesn't have what we needed. Okay, but let's see. Okay, this one has a Kindle version. Since this one has a Kindle version, we can always check the table of contents here. We'll just click this read sample. Now it's gonna it's gonna show us a few pages of the book, like um from page one to some pen, as you can see. And this is the table of contents. You can see introduction, chapter one, qualities of a good wife, then tips on how to be a, a good wife, then reasons for being a good wife, then how to be the perfect housewife. Very simple as that. Then simply know that if you want to write your own book also, you need to have something like this. Then for someone like me, just come down here. If you want to be very fast, then just come down here. Then you say you state qualities. Qualities of a good wife. Now, note that we're not we're not gonna be copying what this person writes. We just wanna use this quality to search for something for our own and Google, then we're going to write something similar, which means we're going to use another word instead of quality, okay? We're going to use something like characteristics or something, okay? So, we're not going to be using the same thing, because if you use the same thing, it's going to look similar to people who are buying that book on Amazon, and they're going to think one of you copy each other, okay? Now, here is a tips on how on how to be a good wife. This one also, we're going to change it, but let's just copy it first to, to, to get started. Tips on how to be a good wife then what else do we have reasons for being a good wife then reasons for being a good wife okay then what else do we have here we also have how to be the perfect housewife now we have how to be the perfect house wife now don't forget every book you want to write me to have an introduction and a conclusion okay so you want to add a conclusion there and before the first one you want to have an, add an introduction good now this is the topic and these are the uh, the contents of the book depending on how many words you want to write how long the book is going to be okay this this could be bigger it could be smaller and sometimes when you are searching trying to write something about this you could see a lot of other things that you want to include in the book just keep including it and you know till you feel okay it's enough or it's not enough now let's quickly write this book in two ways one we want to use google then the other one we can always use ai ai might look faster but uh, you will see how to use another ai to rewrite it just to make it or uh, uh, less less of uh, a problem to uh, amazon you can see that you if you remember what i showed you the other time i showed you that amazon is now stating that people should select if you use ai to write a book and if you use AI to write a book and you select yes they're going to limit your audience which means they're going to show the people that this book is written with ai and most time when people say that a book is written with ai them they are not always interested they feel like uh, you know we want someone that is written by a normal person you understand because we want to learn from experience blah 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 and go. so i'm going to teach you two ways the first way is how to write it normally from Google and give it a little bit rewrite. Now let's start. We're going to start from the introduction. Now how do we get the introduction? First we, we search for this topic which is how to be a better housewife on Google. We go to Google. Okay, I already searched for it. How to be a better housewife. Now we're going to open all this. You can see. Product of tips. Now we're looking for introduction. I'm going to show you how to get introduction and how to get started with start writing the, the actual content now we're going to open them in new tab just open like three or four how to be a good housewife in modern era this is beautiful uh, we could uh, we could add this as a whole into the book you know how to be a good wife a good wife guide to modernize this is also good now you can open as many as possible if i'm just going to start with three and just use this to show you the exact thing i'm talking about now this is the first one now when we're talking about introduction this is an example of an introduction look at this a housewife is a person who works whose work is born or managing the family the job involved caring for children blah 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 now this is an example of uh, introduction 
before the person goes into the secret to being the perfect housewife. All this could also be under introduction. But introduction has to be like giving people hints about what you want to talk about, okay? Telling them the reason why you know why they should go on and read the book. Okay? Now this is what this is talking about. And please try to always read little of the things. If you are using this method, try to read little of the things you're reading. So you don't copy things that are not talking about the book. It's pretty a copy and paste job. However, you're going to rewrite them, okay? So it doesn't look like you're actually copying from these people because these people could also have a book and they might have written all this inside the book. And that's a big problem for you. You're going to be facing copyright issues. So in order to not face copyright issues, just follow the method where I'm going to be doing it. Now, that's how we're going to copy this from here. And uh, remember, like I said, always try to read a little about what you're doing, what you're trying to copy so that you at least don't make mistakes. For example, look at here. It says this article can teach you how to be a good as well so when you copy this you want to change it from this article to this book you understand so people don't feel like you copy an article although we're still gonna work on this we're still gonna like rewrite it something but most time if you don't change it now uh, whatever you are using to rewrite it could still leave it as an article or maybe like a blog and, and that will even be more crazier than the first one okay so we copy this like pom pom under the introduction section, we're going to paste it there. And after we paste it, we're just going to make sure we look at where we see an article the other time here and we edit it and change it to a book so we don't make a mistake. So as you can see, I just changed it to a book. Now, we're going to go back and try to copy more because the introduction is too small. Of course, it's a book. It's not an article. So we need the introduction to be a little bit fleshy, at least something like the one we just copied now like twice, you know. So I'm going to check the second page and the third page to see if there's something I can copy. Oh, this is also cool. This is also cool. Okay. This is also an introduction, okay. And it's unexpectedly cooler than the first one. So let's just copy this also. It said the term housewife has come to a negative condition in the 21st century, blah, blah, blah. So let's, let's start from this place. And we copy here. This is a very good introduction and I kind of love it more than the first one, but <laughs> this is not the time for, you know, forming professionality. I just want to teach you guys how to get this thing done and keep moving. As you can see, we pasted that one. Let's go back. This one is still left. It's still, there's still a little one remaining here. Okay. Now we're going to copy it here. Now look at this expectation of a housewife. You can see that it's cool. If we add this kind of thing into uh, our introduction or into our book, it's going to look uh, interesting. So we're going to add it, but we're just going to add it in another section. So we're going to add it, but we're just going to add it in another section. We're going to add it in another section. So just keep uh, updated. So here we're putting this underneath this one. Okay. Now this is our introduction and we're done with the introduction section. I'm supposed to save this, but I'm not saving yet. Okay. Now this is introduction okay now this is it we ju i'm just building it and i'm still going to drop another video after this i'm going to show you guys how to actually format all this thing after you're done so it looks like a real book i'm not going to add that into this one because this video is very long way and i don't want it to keep spanning longer than it is i'm going to drop another video for that now we're done with the introduction now we go to the quality of life it's like another chapter so whatever you're on a new chapter you should always start from the next page as you can see just uh, use your tab or uh, your control and enter and move it to the next page so each chapter could start from the next page so this chapter says quality of a good wife and like I said earlier that everything you want to write even though since we copied that quality of a good wife from from someone's website uh, from someone's book rather we're not going to use it the exact way it is we're going to write something like it, but not using quality. We're going to use something else, like maybe characteristics or, you know, good something, part of the housewife, blah, blah, stuff like that. Now, okay, for example, even if we can also see use quality for something like this, we can say important qualities. We can say important qualities of a good housewife. Now, that's okay, because we already changed it, okay? So, let's just look for one of these ones. Um, I'm going to choose this one because it has... 15 expired blah 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 on it so let's just open this but just in case of in case you see if that one is not really cool so let me just open another one you know 
climb upon uh, 10 compelling qualities of a good wife. This one is also cool. You can see it says 10 compelling. So it doesn't just say quality of a good wife. So let's open this one also. Check them out and see, you know, actually see which one we like the most. Then before we continue. Okay. Okay. So now we already opened the two tabs. So let's just check. Let's check the two tabs. One after the other. So let's start with the first tab, which is the 35 plus qualities of a good wife. And like I said earlier, we're not going to use qualities of a good wife. We're going to twist uh, it all around just to make sure we're not copying the person who, who writes the first one. Okay. So let's say, um, okay, okay, we have a lot of qualities of a good wife right here. She has a sense of her own purpose, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now let's start. Let's give it another topic like our own before we copy this and put under it now let's say important qualities important qualities of a good wife you can see you already changed it from what it's there in the first book to something else now it's okay it's Im uh, it's good we have important qualities not just qualities so people already see that it's different from uh, uh, the first book that we copied it from on Amazon now we're looking at a whole different thing right here which is important qualities not just qualities now let's move on don't forget to bold it so it's okay so we bold it so it's cool so we can do like this a chapter and uh, we continue okay now we come right here now we're gonna copy we're gonna start copying from here like I said so here are common qualities of a good wife then we copy now I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna copy from the beginning to the end if you like you might not copy to the end you might just if this is like 10 look as you can see here we see 35 qualities you can just copy 5 or 10 qualities you know depending on how many words you have in mind but i for me i always try to write my book a minimum of ten thousand words okay why because the more the book or the more uh the customers are going to feel like they're getting uh, like a very huge stuff you understand not just getting something small you understand that's what i feel and that's why i always write most of my sometimes i write book up to like 30k words and co but the point is even if i write 30k words <coughs> It's not like I'm going to charge. I'm going to charge small fees for it. I'm going to charge enough for the 30k word. Okay, I don't charge mediocre for my book, and I'm going to show you how to actually price your books also. Okay, so you don't have to worry. Now let's just copy this and get it over with. Okay. Okay, so we're going to copy this from head to toe like that. So I'm not going to keep doing that right now because I just wanted to show you how it works. Now we move on from there to the next chapter, which is the tips tips on how to be a good wife so now we're gonna write the tips then we're gonna follow the same method like we just did this first one we're gonna come to Google we're gonna type it there tips on how to be a good wife and we're gonna choose something similar to it that is not exactly uh, like that or we can always rewrite the title by ourselves okay. and we're gonna use effective tips also not just tips you understand okay so open this I'm gonna use effective tips to be a good wife. Now let's copy this. Let's go down here and change these tips to effective tips. Okay, good. Now we're gonna highlight it, you know, give it a bold and every other stuff. Then effective tips on how to be a good wife. Then we're gonna give it the bold and you know, keep it up a little bit. Then after that, we're going to go over and copy the stuff that are under the effective tips also. We're going to copy it and we're going to come here and paste it underneath these effective tips. It's as easy as that. Then we'll move on to the next one. Now we're going to come here and copy effective tips. Okay. We can already start from here. Or if you like, we just go back to these 20 ways to be a good as well and start copying. Whichever way you like. So let's just start from here and copy this. 
I always like everything to start with some a little form of introduction. So, and that's because I'm a professional in this field. Okay, so it's not it's not like always 100% that you have to do this. But of course, I have to tell you how it's been done. You know. Okay. Okay, we come back here. We we'll paste it right here. Paste it underneath this effective tip to be a good housewife. Now we're going to do the same thing to everything else on this list. Now you guys see how I did this. This is pretty easy, like very easy as one, two, and three. So we're going to do that same thing to everything on this list. So after we're done with the effective tips, all right. So now I'm, I'm, I'm not going to continue this. I'm going to stop it here and just to show you how this thing works. Okay, we're going to do the rest with the other ones and we're going to go to conclusion. So let me just give you guys a conclusion. Now the conclusion also follows the same step as the introduction. It's just the same as introduction. The difference between the two is that here we're going to try to conclude it yourself by saying, uh, by writing like one paragraph uh, before you put in the introduction kind of content. You understand me? No, take for example, you say, here we can say now I could say I could say I believe I believe that by now you have understand what it takes to be a better housewife and I know you will start working on being better for your family and your husband. Now this is it. They at first, then after this we're going to put something that looks like a little bit introduction just to really talk about what we are concluding yeah so let's go back to um the chrome and look for something that looks like an introduction i think we've not been to this today okay here it is now we can just copy stuff like the good wife guide goes around the internet quite often as hey how to be a good wife kind of post however most find these 1950s housewife rules outdated to this is a modern good wife guide. Hmm. Okay, all we just have to do is to kind of change it a little bit. Now, our topic is how to be a good housewife. Then we could say the good wa the good wife's guide goes around on the internet, like this person says, goes around the internet quite often as hey, how to be a good wife kind of post. Now, however, they are going to bring in our own topic. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to paste it. Remember, you can put in as much as possible. I'm only limiting it because so I don't want this video to be so long. Okay, I've got a kind of post. However, most of these 1950s housewife rules outdated. Okay, so we're going to put our own as, however, this is one of the best guide you can ever come across across in a book then we close it there you could always put more and more okay i'm just closing mine here okay i'm closing mine here now after this we're going to go back and you know we're going to save and we're going to upload the book on Amazon. Now, I'm not supposed to show you how to upload uh, again on Amazon, but I believe that a lot of you might not really uh, understand the first one since since the first one is actually just the first one is just a uh, uh, a low content book. So you might want to see how uploading the normal book looks like. Okay, so let's just quickly upload the normal book. It's still the same method. The difference is just that we're going to upload this in three different ways. I'm going to upload the Kindle book first, then I'm going to upload the paperback which is the one we uploaded when we are trying to upload the low content book and I'm also going to upload the ad cover. Boy, it's still the same thing. I'm going to follow the same 
method now don't forget to save this as either a word document or a pdf amazon accept it too but i always recommend word document okay so you save it as a word document okay now all we have to do next is to go over to amazon and upload so i'm going to go over and upload this book although it's very small but i'm going to try and upload it then the only thing i'm going to do is i'm not going to publish it so when i get to the publish section i'm going to you know stop okay so now let's go to amazon and upload this thing really quick let's go to amazon let's upload it very fast quick I don't want this very fast now here we're going to come to create like we did the first time now the difference between this like i said earlier is that we're going to first upload the kindle book then after that we're going to upload the paperback then we're going to also upload the art cover so that's the difference between this now you, you can sell in three different ways you can sell the kindle book you can sell paperback and you can sell art cover and everything will be selling concurrently some people buy kindle some people buy paperback and some people buy art cover so we're going to be uploading the three now let's start with the create ebook okay now don't forget the same method we used to create the first one okay i'm going to be skipping a lot of steps right here because i believe you should have known it if you watch this video from the beginning so let's start from the beginning from the title which is how to to become a better house wife okay now the subtitle let's say a guide a uh, 20 24 guide a 2024 20, guide to become a better housewife okay now let's move on you know it's not a series that we're gonna the author of course the author name like i said you can always use your pen name it's not possible to use your name because obviously you are not you're not popular even if you use a pen name that doesn't mean the pen name is popular but at least it gives you uh, some kind of um, uh, vulnerability i'm going to explain why pen name is better in another video okay let's move on so pen name let's say i'm going to be using something like uh, mario mario gary let's just give this just from this out i don't know i don't want to delay yours now let's move on to the description like i said earlier now let's put in a description um let's let me just put in this introduction as a description no time to waste guys i'm gonna explain all this in uh, new videos okay so don't worry if you don't get this don't worry just expect the next video now let's move on to the publishing rights like i said earlier you should always change you own the copyright because you always own the copyright okay now guys before i go i'm going to explain how we're going to turn this book from something we copy from the internet to something we can publish on amazon okay i'm going to explain that i just want to get it over with, with this publishing and after that i'm going to explain and the reason why i'm putting it at last is because a lot of you if i finish explaining this now you are not going to stay tuned and i'm going to watch the other video really believe I, I already know how to do this book then i could publish it by myself i don't want that to happen that's why i'm skipping that part now i'm putting it to the hand okay so let's continue after publishing then i'm going to show you how to change it from uh, what it is now to a book you can publish and and you can be sure that there's no copyright issue on it okay now i own the copyright does it have any sexual episode image no it doesn't have then we leave this here because we're not targeting maybe small kid or someone kind of a uh, stuff alone now the category we already passed through this stage first okay so let's come back we're going to be choosing something that has to do with like uh, relationship family you know this kind of category let's see if i'm going to be saying pa okay this is parenting relationship i think this should work but let's see if there's something like family okay there's no family so let's choose this parenting relationship now let's come back here it says lgbtq plus parenting and family i don't think we want to do this I think it should be family activities if I'm right. Okay, so, uh, then we always choose general. I don't forget, we always choose general family activities. Then we could choose anything else. Let's just see family health. Okay, now this subcategory is all okay. Let's try and choose subcategories first before we choose the placement. Okay, subcategories family relationship. I think that's that's the best subcategory, family relationship. Then we can say motherhood. I guess motherhood has to do with you know housewife stuff kind of thing. 
then our parents and other child mm, maybe I guess it also has to do then we're going to choose this general like I've always said always choose general now save category and continue now the keyword like I explained earlier you already know what kind of words should be there I'm going to drop a new video about it also so let me just put something random relationships housewife and um put something something else here better woman I just put a lot of things random better family woman <laughs> okay now we'll move on we'll save and continue you forget we're not changing anything here save and continue then after this you already know what's next we're going to fill in the other parts upload our book and you know everything else now here comes the manager this is how digital right management to have your authorized access or copying of data content file this cannot be changed now i always advise people to choose this why because it simply gives your book a particular kind of copyright whereby uh, if any person posts something similar to your book i'm going to flag them down because of course you post them first isn't it now here we're going to upload the manuscript i already saved the manuscript earlier i think i saved it without to be how to be become a better wife so i'm just going to upload the manuscript here and you know how we do this uh, cover also we're going to upload the image and we're going to move on don't worry guys there's nothing to fret about i'm not going to be publishing this book when i get to the publishing stage i'm going to stop so this is how to become a better wife so we're uploading the content is small so i'm guessing it should be fast if it's not fast i'm going to pause the video okay it's fast so now we're going to launch the cover creator like i said earlier this always takes sometimes oh it's fast this time around okay we're launching the cover creator and we're going to put in a picture i'm going to put in one of the pictures we downloaded earlier the second one so i'm going to put in the second picture yeah this one don't forget guys i'm not uploading it here now you can see the difference between a kindle book and a paperback the paperback as a the other time the paperback is showing us the front and the back you know now the kindle book will only show you the front because people only see the front and i see in the back so i'm going to be choosing this one as you all know like this is what i always like to choose then we're going to highlight it and kind of edit it anyhow we like you know give it something like 28 come here give it antonio come here give it another color let's say i'm gonna give it something like i don't know blue no no not blue orange i think i use orange <laughs> i don't know why i like the orange guys make sure you edit this very well make it beautiful okay i'm doing this very fast because i don't want to waste our time now come back here subtitle will also give it something you know make it special and um turn it down a little bit 21 18 okay i think this is okay then give it another color let's also give it this and the mario gray i think this is okay the way it is now let's preview it we're gonna preview it let's see if it's gonna be fast if it's not fast i'm gonna pause the video and come back okay let's pause okay so it's here now we're gonna hit the save and submit button because that's what's left so after saving and submit we just have to do is to move on to the next stage you know and publish our book now we're going to like i said that we're going to select if it's ai generated or not and we always say no because of course it's not ai generated don't worry since we copied it i'm going to show you how it works okay now for kindle book you you always have the opportunity to like either launch the previewer or not only on kindle book okay on kindle book you can either preview it or not but on paperback you have to preview like it's important on paperback okay but on kindle book is not important you can decide to not preview it but i always advise you to preview it and see how it looks like you know just see how it looks like on amazon so let's move on since it's not important and also this isbn stuff are not important on kindle book but it's important on paperback but don't worry amazon always gives free isbn numbers so you don't have to worry you just have to click it okay now let's move on save and continue now here we're going to be going to the last table we'll put in the prices and everything before we publish that's just how it is 
now always enroll your book to kdp select because this allow people who uh, have a kindle file or uh, mobile to read your book uh, on uh, some kind of subscription and you get paid if people read it a lot you get paid every month for it so i always enroll my book there now all territory nothing to change here leave this year then here you can decide to choose either from 35 percent royalty or 70 percent although i always choose 70 percent but once you choose 70 percent you know you are limited to only only price your book at the maximum of 9.99 which means you can't price your book more than 9.99 dollars if you choose 70 percent so if you want to price your kindle book like 20 dollar or 30 dollar i'm talking about kindle now not paperback normally kindle book is always cheaper okay so it's cheaper since it's not like physical book it's always cheaper so most time i don't, I don't even price up to nine nine dollars for kindle book okay i always try and target i make more than thirty dollars on a book so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here i'm going to put five dollars first i'm going to see how much i get if i put five dollars so here i'm going to be getting 3.49 so that's okay for me since the book is small okay and that's because the file i uploaded is small okay if i put a very huge file the price is going to be lower than this so i just try to put in like five and five to seven dollars for any of my kindle book so i'm, I'm going to make at least three to four dollars in reality if i choose this 70 percent and most times the only kind of book i use uh, 9.99 are medical books that are like important like books that are curing a particular kind of issues or disease or something i know people want to do that so I they want to buy that it's important so i put in like 9.9 dollars .9 but other books i price them between three sometimes three dollars if it's like very little very small book and not really that big but a minimum an average of five dollars to seven dollars okay so keep that in mind now after that we're going to just go ahead and click publish your kindle book but i'm not going to be published i'm going to save it as draft because of course it's not okay to publish the book now we're done with that now let's go back to our bookshelf and I'm going to show you how to continue the rest. Now, this is it. If we had already published it here, it's not going to show draft, it's going to show published. Now, you can see here it says create paperback. Now, this is the, this is where if you create the other paperback for this same book. The way we created the paperback for, for the uh, journal we created the other time. So, we're going to come here and we're going to click create paperback. And we're also going to come here and we're going to click create hardcover. Now, the good thing about this is that once you create it like this, you don't have to write a lot of things anymore it automatically puts in you can see your title your subtitle your name your description it automatically puts in almost everything all you just have to do is just choose category and you know edit something and move on so here we're going to choose that we're not this is not a low content book so we're not going to choose this one and large print book contains 16.4 no we're not going to choose this auto because we're not using 16.4 it's just a small normal content book so we're not going to choose any of the two then we're going to come to categories we're going to choose the one we chose the other time uh, what do we choose family something we chose family family for parents and relationship here yeah, okay and here we chose family relationship and here i think we chose general we chose motherhood and we chose parenting and co now we we'll move on save categories then we we'll move on we we'll put in here it's already there now we we'll come here and hit save and continue you can see this is very fast so you know you just have to like upload your book again and move on it's not it's not that hard at all then you already know how we do here now this is the ISBN i said earlier so we're going to get a free isbn from amazon yeah so you just say assign me an isbn and i'm just going to give an isbn it's free they don't even charge you a dime for it you can see an ISBN number is there independently published now you choose anyone here like i explained before i don't have to explain this again choose whatever size you want to use here i'm going to also tell you how to size your book if you want to change the sizes you want to reduce it you want to make it bigger i'm going to tell you how to do that inside the microsoft world after i explain what i'm going to explain after this now come here and choose upload manuscript sorry i'm being a little bit fast because i don't want this video to be up to two hours it's enough that it's already over an hour so we come here we upload the manuscript like we always do so let me just upload it okay and we're going to come to this uh, launch cover creator like we always do we will put the cover creator I, I believe everybody knows how this work because i already did this when we were uploading the low content book so we already know how it works it's still the same way 
from here on is the same way so i'm just going to click it on um, save as draft leave it that way i really wanted to show you the pricing although i've shown you before but i still want to show you here so all you have to do is to just price it with a minimum of 14 dollars 14 to 25 dollars but it should not be more than 25 dollars don't be looking for a huge money guys don't be looking for a huge money okay once you are able to make at least five dollar on a book on a sale it's enough don't be looking for making ten dollar twenty dollar on a book at once no you won't get rich by selling one book you will get rich by selling lots of book okay sometimes i i try to price my book lower and make like one to two dollars on a book okay and you'll be surprised that the book you price lower sometimes i don't like going to sell very much than the other ones okay they're going to sell so much that you'll be scared that wow if you're selling like uh, 30 books and you're making two dollars on each book 30 books a day that's six dollars a day it's better than you selling two or three books and you're making uh, like ten dollar on them isn't it uh -huh. so let's move on now that's it for it this one is still the same method you're going to use to create the art cover the art cover is just like it's just like this or uh, paperback the same method everything the difference is that I'm just going to put art cover on that one instead of a normal cover on this paperback. Now we're done with this. Now let's go back to the last stage, which is how we're going to turn this book into something that is not looking like you copied it and it's not looking like AI, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now before I say this last stage, if I continue with this last stage, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You know you want to get educative and informative videos like this one hit the subscribe button guys so i'm gonna be so happy and putting these kind of videos out sometimes it takes a whole lot of energy in me to put out videos like this but i want to help i want people to be better i want people to make money the way i make money that's why i'm doing this guys so though the way you can support me is to hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon so whenever i do beautiful videos like this you be one of the first few people to see my videos now without wasting your time this is what you want to do now you go to a platform called Qlbot dot com now let's see oh that's a mistake quill bot dot com now this website there's a free version also remember i said you are not spending a dime although if i'm showing you tools and it's paid that doesn't mean you should pay to do it i believe you can always pay okay you can always pay i'm going to drop a link for this keyboard also in the description below you can always pay but i believe that as someone starting out uh, internet marketing journey you need to be able to leverage free tools first okay free tools first and make money then from the money you make then you can now buy the premium version okay although i have the premium version but that's that's not important what's important is that you start with the free tools first and it doesn't have any problem with both free tools and premium the only difference between the free tools and premium with what we are going to be using it for is that you're not going to be able to upload lots of book at once like you cannot copy like 5,000 words at once and finish it you're going to have to be copying like uh, maybe 200 or 300 words so which means it's going to slow you down if you have like a very big book but apart from that it's the same thing so we're going to come here to the standard then we're going to come to this place that has line i'm going to put in the second one which is this as you can see then we're going to go to our book we're going to copy the content we have here so let's say we'll copy from here to here then you copy then you come back here and you paste it right here now what's the work of this keyboard it's going to rewrite this thing you're going to make it unique so it doesn't look like you copy it and you're going to write it in a different way that i'm just also going to see it like it's not an ai that write it because this tool is not an ai tool it's a uh, it's an uh, automated human generation tools okay now let's paraphrase it you're gonna see what i'm talking about now look here we have a housewife is a person who work in who, whose work is running or managing the family's home now this job involves caring for the children cooking meals and doing everything that makes the home function being a housewife means making life easier for everyone including yourself now look at what this thing says here he says a housewife is a person whose job it is to maintain and operate the household this work entails taking care of the kids preparing food and managing the household chores making things simpler for everyone including yourself is a sign of a homemaker you can see how beautiful it rewrites it makes sense make it simpler and it's different entirely from this one the, uh, whoever writes this one cannot say you copy him, him or her. 
because obviously it's very very different but we're still talking about the same thing isn't it good now we'll come down here and we'll copy it and we'll come back here and we'll paste it here so which means what might I delete the one that is there I will paste the new one now that's how you turn your book into a unique book whereby you can just click no when it comes to here on Amazon and you're not going to have any copyright issue whereby someone says you copy their work online or something because obviously they're not copying their work because it's already different from what they have on their website also now you do it for the same content before you upload now this is the last thing I'm going to be telling you guys the last thing is how you can actually resize your book now this is a Microsoft Word you want to come here if you want to resize or you want to come here to layout it's actually layout okay so you want to choose the layout not design okay layout not design now this is layout now you come here you see size here it says size now you want to click on the size you click the arrow the arrow below the size right here you want to click on it so once you click on this you're going to pop in different sizes and you're going to be able to input and whatever size you want okay unlike the uh, unlike the way we did on canva that canva does it automatically here also it's automatically but you have to select it and you know type or write it down if you, your size is not here as you can see this book is always in 8.5 by 11 okay so if i want to resize it i can put it in anything else here or i can simply come down here and type more paper size then this is going to give me an option to type in anything i want you can see width and height i can come here and type five and come here and type eight that's five by eight you understand so I can do anything I want with it then I just click OK later and it's going to resize it automatically to that particular thing so that's how it is guys now guys don't forget once again hit the subscribe button smash the bell icon so whenever I drop beautiful videos like this you're one of the first few people to see it now I know you have lots and lots of questions but don't worry drop them on the comment section below Drop in the comment section below any any first five people that I saw their questions I'm going to first talk about whatever it is you ask i'm gonna first do a video about what you ask okay i know i have a lot of videos to do about this because right now i'm going to be doing a separate video for the uh, fiction because i can't hide it here again this video is already very long guys you have to you have to bear it with me okay so i'm going to do another video for fiction and after that every each question you are asking i'm going to be doing videos for it don't worry guys i am here for you now don't forget i'm olawale yusuf and this is next time's channel where we make you a better version of yourself we help you make money online legitly in a legal way where you can become better person for yourself and for your family now this is not a goodbye but it's a good day bye bye guys